Daddy Dad One coming at you. Um, I talked a little bit about this the other day. Iran, North Korea, and Syria block UN arms treaty. They're the only ones with the guts to stand up to the UN. America was not among them. It's a little bit more about it. They said there was just too many problems with the whole thing. Oh, oh, I forgot to show you. Um, the date. 29th of March, 2013. The 29th. It is now the 2nd. This is what they just got done today. Gun rights advocates fear UN treaty will lead to US registry. You doggone right it did. The UN General Assembly on Tuesday approved a sweeping first of its kind treaty aimed at regulating an estimated blah 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 blah. You can go to the leave links below. You guys can go check it out. I don't know how much flack I caught from people because I tried to tell people what was going on. And I caught a lot of BS for it. Talking about I didn't know what I was talking about. You know, I'm living in La La Land. I'm just a conspiracy nut. All this kind of stuff. No, I'm sorry. I ain't the one living in La La Land. Check this out. I wanted to show y'all. Uh, what went down. This is a little poll. Will UN efforts to impose global country control agreements make it harder for Democrats to pass their own agenda? I voted no. Because I don't believe it will make any difference at all. Here's the result of the polls. People who think yes, 69%, basically 70%, no, 24%. Only 24% of the people really have a clue on what's going on. 5% don't know. 1% they don't know what to think either. This is what I wrote. My comment. It won't make any difference at all. They have been counting on this. They've been counting on it. They kept us all focusing on the dog and pony show in the White House, or not the White House, in the House and Senate. And all along, they knew what was going down. North Korea, Iran, and Syria were the only countries that were paying attention, and the only ones with the guts to stand up to the UN. And of course, they pushed it through anyways. They'll make sure that they are the only ones armed, so they can do the same thing to the world as they did in Syria. Okay, I tried to uh, post that using my Twitter account. Oh, something happened. They didn't like this comment. I could not freaking post it. So... <laughs> You know, what do you do? I mean, geez. I'm so sick of this. I tried to tell people. I tried. And don't be surprised when, uh, you know, you all have seen the UN troop vehicles. They're here. They won't hesitate to blow us away. We're not talking about Marines. U.S. Marines. We're talking about UN troops. And we know how corrupt the UN is. They are the New World Order. They're a bunch of scumbags. And we've just been sold out big time.
Anyway, I'm pretty disgusted with this. I knew it was coming anyway. They said it the other day. I'll leave the links below so you guys can check this stuff out. But, uh, understand that they're going to say one thing and others are going to say another. For instance, uh, let me show you this here. Um, where's that? Amnesty International and the U and the Arms Control Association held the UN vote. Um, yeah, that's not what I wanted. Let's see here. Um, Gun record keeping in a thorny is a thorny issue in the U.S. Where similar questions have stalled a debate over expanding background checks to include all private gun sales. Um, Where's this at? The, the uh, yeah, it's a good day for the U United Nations and a good day for the people of the world. Yeah, right. So you can rob more people. I mean, this is just, this is, uh, this is sad, y'all. Sad. We've been sold a bucket of, bucket of fish head and guts. And they, uh, told us it was prime cut. Where's this at? The American Bar Association. An attorney's lobby group has said that the treaty would not impact the right to bear arms, but the National Rifle Association, a powerful U.S. pro-gun lobbying group, opposes the treaty and has voted to fight to prevent its ratification if it reaches Washington. The NRA says the treaty would undermine domestic gun ownership rights. Who do you think is telling the truth there? These guys are freaking liars. You know, what are we to think anymore? Anyway, go check it out. I'm disgusted with it. Share it, please. I'll leave the links below in the description box. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless and good luck to us all. Never give up your guns. Buy all the ammo you can while you can. It's getting very scarce. Over and out.